Oh my god, Admiral, look out! Sir, we need to do something about this now, right now! How about I draw his attention, you hit him in the tail, and... Uh, sir, wh where are you? I'll, uh, call for backup. Sir, that's a wall. Backup is on the way, Cotton, go away! Ladies, gentlemen, and monsters of all ages, the frost is upon us as hunters all over the world are beginning their journey to the Hoarfrost Reach and beyond. But if there is one thing that could possibly manage to keep you warm in these frigid times... <laughs> It's this guy right here, Seething Basil Geese, or Seething Geese for short. I made that up. As far as first impressions go, the Pro and Noob series is already totally taken care of, so don't worry, you'll get to see those at some point very soon. When you first walk up to Seething Basil Geese, what you'll notice is he's fucking awesome! It's science. Sorry, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. This monster's head looks much harder and darker than normal, with an almost bracket DOC coloring on the head scales, and his little face scales look to be almost receding. His tail scales, however, will be glowing, already red hot just from his general existence. You may be thinking to yourself, red hot? What, is that hotter than is normal orangey hot? The answer is yes, it absolutely is. As you fight him, you'll notice a couple of things changing throughout his beautiful scaly body as well, and those changes are directly related to the scales of his scaly body. The first of which being that over time, and with some of his anger focused, the scales turn from red hot to straight up white hot, which again is absolutely hotter than red. It's around this point, while he is dropping his scales wherever he pleases, that you might notice a slight underglow on his chin or tail, which is very white but almost sort of pink or purplish. After a good beating and a lot of yelling and seething from our Basil-y friend, you'll notice that the fight is just getting started. Basil's chin and tail scales will start to full-on glow pink, and that is when you know the fight has gotten serious. <laughs> No, really, because this pink represents something even hotter than white hot. It's pink hot. That's not a thing. Pink doesn't describe hotness. It does for me. We don't really have a solid reason for why this basil is like this, but due to the dulled color on his head and the receding scales, my personal assumption is that this is a particularly older basil geese who has had plenty of time to get angrier and angrier and truly seethe about the wrongs done to him in the past, like the time that he didn't make it in time to interrupt a hunt. That's terrible. That was the worst moment of his life. So what we end up with is a basil geese who obviously has some sort of special organ going on that makes his chin and tail glow, and when they glow, it slowly affects his scales until he starts producing these mutated little pink boys that expand and explode by the way because of course they expand that's what really throws me for a loop here honestly big explosions that are pink yeah fair enough that's fucking awesome actively growing mutating scales that's a fucking new one and that affects this whole fight a fight which by the way is absolutely bananas in the best kind of way Starting with his regular mode, Seething Basil Geese has a number of new physical attacks and combos, a little pouncy type move, some more tail slap stuff, and more importantly he has combos and slight variations to the moves that regular Basil Geese already had, meaning he feels familiar, but oh so different at the same time. The main difference here is as the scales start to grow and heat up, they become easier to detach from him, like regular enraged Basil just dropping his scales wherever he damn pleases as he walks around. Because of Seething Basil's new physical attacks, however, this becomes much more difficult dangerous, as instead of simply being able to drop his scales on the floor, he can now throw them out at high speeds, like a projectile, almost like he's using his body as a shotgun. Not necessarily intending to get a direct hit, I guess, but creating a much larger minefield than normal Basil does, which much faster exploding scales, and making him much more dangerous when he's far away from you, because at the end of the day, all he wants is you to come up close and give him a hug. Once his scales become the pink, glowy, scary things that they do when he's super angry, he wants nothing more than to have every single one of them off of his damn body. He starts flinging every which way, taking much more aggressive movements to be able to throw them off of himself easier. And this leads to this super anger state being just a field of death. Beautiful death, but it's everywhere, everywhere around you, especially as these scales are sticky and attached to walls and every object it could possibly touch before expanding and exploding and finding any way possible to fuck you up. However, he is such an interesting and cool creature that it really is worth it. Tonight, we're getting fucked up! As far as unique, individual, memorable moves, Seething Basil Key still has his bombing run as usual, however this Basil has something bigger, something better, something absolutely stunning, an Elder Dragon level super move which uses every single part of this new identity and honestly just look at it! <laughs> This 
this attack sees Basil barrel roll straight up into the sky, expelling every single pink scale from his body in a 360 degree radius, leaving only the tiniest middle circle open. Everything explodes and he dive bombs straight into the center circle, creating a secondary massive explosion. And as cool as this attack is, as cool as every single part of this attack is, looks what i want to talk about here is actually the sound design listen to him go up again it's like a propeller plane how cool is that and when he finishes the attack he has a unique roar a very unique roar and it sounds awesome all in all, this fight is just basil keys on steroids, probably not literally, and it is just an extremely enjoyable experience while also being a fantastic visual spectacle. And honestly, I don't think I could personally imagine a more interesting and cool basil keys variant than our big boy seething here. As far as armor goes, I hope you like sets that look fantastic because this motherfucker is the bomb. At least, visually speaking, as the full skills for the Alpha Set are 5 Earplugs, 3 Critical Draw, 2 Blast Resistance, 2 Blast Attack, 2 Guard, 2 Bombardier, and Jump Master. Whereas the Beta has 3 Earplugs, 2 Guard, 2 Critical Draw, 2 Bombardier, 1 Blast Attack, and Jump Master. The set also has a 2-piece set bonus, not a 3-piece, of Guts, which works the same as Base World Basil Guts. That was a very odd sentence. As a full set, this won't get much use, but the mixed set potential from this armor is actually very high, given the Beta chest with 2 Guard and some slottage as well as the beta arms with two crit draw and some slottage. If you're wondering about seething basil geese weapons, the answer is quite simple. If your weapon had a basil geese tree already, that tree now ends in a seething basil geese weapon, which visually speaking are the same thing except they are glowing and enragey to match his aesthetic. Statistically speaking, they're simply better than regular basil weapons. So really there is no loss here in any sense as even the visuals are a straight upgrade. As a whole package, the visual changes, the fight changes, changes, even the goddamn sound design, the armor and the weapons and just Oh, the feel of everything related to this monster. Seething Basil Geese is honestly everything I could ever have wanted and more from a variant Basil Geese. So let's all go out there and hunt the crap out of him to show Capcom how much we appreciate him. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, everyone, I've been Cotton Dinosaur, and this has been your old pal, Seething Basil Geese. Does he live up to the hype of a Basil variant? Which other Iceborne monsters would you like us to talk about? Like if you liked the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. This is the brand new outro to tell you all the things that you do that we love So let's start with something simple and say Oh, we love your eyes When they're watching us play video games When we make a bunch of jokes that are kinda lame Or when they gaze upon our failures as we try to kill the monsters Or important, important news about the kingdom and Amelia Rage, Cotton, and Hollow are all here Talking about the things you want to hear So if you want to be the first to hear Like and subscribe and the bell and we'll cheer Some of you are patrons even though We are all the noobs and you're the pros There's nothing we can do to thank you No, really, there's nothing we could possibly do. Goodbye.